Hey guys, this is Aaron Richardson at Ragnar Forge. And I'm just going to talk quickly about uh, some safety things that I have and, and use here in my shop. So the first one is uh, safety glasses. Uh, I didn't always wear safety glasses. Um, I used to just wear them when I was grinding and that's all. Uh, I started wearing them when I forge uh, because uh, shortly after I, uh, I moved up to my shop here, I was forging in here and I was wearing contacts and I had a piece of hot scale come off the steel, land on my contacts lens and, and melt it. Um, I was able to get it out real, right away and it didn't melt onto my eyeball or anything, but it scared me enough that I went and got a pair of safety glasses and, uh, and now I won't go in anybody's shop without them. Uh, another thing that I use in my shop uh, when I'm forging, uh, not when I'm in videos because I, it, it uh, isn't very comfortable and it makes it so that I'm not able to talk as well, but I wear um, hearing protection. Uh, I wear these because um, a good friend of mine um, who I've done a lot of work with, he actually uh, has had to start wearing hearing aids and he was told it was probably largely due to his, his blacksmithing work. Um, so uh, I wear these uh, when I'm forging, when I'm grinding, um, I wear them pretty often. Another thing that I wear um, when I'm grinding is a, is a respirator. So I've always worn a respirator when I'm grinding, um, but one of the things that's really, uh, I guess, redoubled my determination to always do that is uh, I installed a, an alarm here on my door. Just a simple one when the door opens or closes. Um, and it's got a little magnet in it. And I'll show you a picture of it. But uh, it, just that little magnet has attracted iron dust from the air. And it's a pretty significant amount and it didn't take very long for it to fill up with as much as that little magnet will hold, just out of the air. Um, kind of uh, made me really want to make sure that I have to wear that respirator uh, when I'm grinding. I've got a fire extinguisher that I always have in here. It's over there by the welder. Um, I've got a slack tub, so I've always got water around if I need to cool off my hand, if I get a burn, or if I need a, to put out a fire. Now, um, sometimes I'll also wear an apron. Um, I use that when I'm doing more heavy forging, um, or sometimes when I'm grinding. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about gloves. So I don't generally wear gloves when I'm forging. They tend to make it actually more dangerous. The reason for that is if I'm not wearing a glove and I get a piece of hot scale on my hand, I can just brush it off and I'm done. I can keep working. However, if I've got the glove on and I get a hot piece of hot scale that falls down in there, it will continue to burn until I'm able to stop what I'm doing, get the glove off. Um, and every time that's happened to me, it's been a worse burn than it would have been if it just uh, if I wasn't wearing gloves. So the only time I wear gloves when I'm forging is if I'm using a hand punch or drift and it's too hot to do it without the glove, or, and I also wear them when I'm forge well. Same principle for boots. You want to make sure your trousers cover the tops of your boots or shoes so you don't have a piece of scale go down inside your shoe. Um, or uh, maybe a little piece from when you punch a piece of metal. You just really don't want to have that go down your leg. It's uh, very painful. So talking about safety, I almost forgot. Um, another thing is, it's, it's good for forging, not so great for power tools. I wear a long sleeve shirt. This keeps the scale off my arms. Um, and uh, with that, all your clothing when you're forging should be natural, no synthetics. If you have a problem with synthetics is they burn very easily and they melt and they melt into your skin and they stay and it's horrible. Um, so I wear long sleeves um, when I'm forging, uh, unless it's very hot in the middle of the summer. Um, or if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of work on my power tools, and then I don't. Speaking of power tools, another thing that's not a great idea is, uh, is my long hair. Um, you don't want your hair to get caught in your power tools. So I always wear it back in a ponytail. Um, and when I'm, I'm working on the grinder or the drill press or anything, I tuck it in the back of my shirt or my coat. Uh, make sure it doesn't get out, um, can't get into the tool. Another thing with safety is I don't work with galvanized steel um, or steel that has a, a zinc paint on it. Zinc uh, is just not something that I play around with at all. I don't like using brass um, and, I, and I won't work with anything that's galvanized um, simply because that, uh, that zinc, if it burns in your forge, it gets in the air, um, you get heavy metal poisoning, you get zinc fume free fever. Um, it's, it's really uh, toxic, it's unsafe. Um, if you really need to work with something that's galvanized, um, what you can do is you can use an acid, uh, even something as mild as vinegar, and soak it in and let that eat off the zinc before you put it in the forge. So that's just kind of a, a few things um, as far as safety. 
that I have and do here in my shop. Thanks for watching.